Dear Veterans Community, the reason behind choosing military service differ from person to person. But as varied as the reasons are, there's one universal understanding. Service means sacrifice. There is no greater sacrifice than to offer one's life for the greater good. The impact of this ultimate sacrifice ripples through our community. Service members' deaths touch more than just the lives of their loved ones and friends. When their stories are shared in our neighborhoods, our homes, our schools, our places of worship, these men and women become a part of the collective identity of our hometown in Somerville. I hope you enjoy this video tribute to honor our fallen military heroes, and I hope you, your family, and your friends can safely honor them this Memorial Day. Today we honor the individuals who answered their nation's call and we recommit to ensuring their sacrifice was never made in vain. They have been many remembrances, ceremonies and celebrations over the last several days. But today it is our strength and resolve and indeed our silence that invokes the memories of those who gave what Lincoln called the last full measure of demotion to advance the cause of freedom and liberty, both here at home and around the world. Today, we remember that in every generation they stand in every generation, they serve. In every generation, they sacrifice. For two and a half centuries, they fought and died for the idea that was bigger than themselves. I always take time to sit back and reflect. I take a moment to reflect to myself. And I think not only about my brothers and sisters in arms, but the people of Iraq who also suffered immensely and have to deal with the consequences of war to this day. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, you know, since uh, the advent of total war, um, before this concept, uh, war really impacted just the soldiers, and, or it impacted the civilian population less. But since total war became a more prominent theme, uh, we've lost, most wars have lost more civilians, dramatically more so than military veterans. My own father piloted 64 violent and deadly combat missions in a place I had barely even heard of, New Guinea. New Guinea is located just to the north of Australia and is just six degrees below the equator. It's bigger than France and England combined. 1,500 miles from end to end. Imagine the distance from Boston across the wide Mississippi, Mississippi, 
to about Kansas City. That's how big it is. By the grace of God, my father survived. But the trauma from the death and destruction was so bad that he never talked about the war. He meticulously packed away his memories, his military orders, photos and correspondence, and stowed them all away in this, his pilot's navigation case. Then he hid that all away in our long ignored attic. I made this little decoration in honor uh, in my heart that the Italian flag, the Italian flag stands for my dad. He was in World War II in Yugoslavia, which now is Croatia. And he was there for eight years. And of course, my husband, Leo, the Marine flag. But most of all, the most heartful flag is the American flag, which I am glad to be here. I was also a refugee from Yugoslavia to Italy when I was two years old. And the, the Ukraine war, Ukraine war, brings back a lot of my memories with children fleeing the country. At two years old, I flee the country and went to Italy for nine years in a refugee war. And now I'm here, I'm proud, I'm an American citizen, I'm a summer villain, <laughs> and uh, I, I appreciate, everybody is my friend here, thank you. There are many tangible things we can do to honor our service for the fallen heroes. And first and foremost is to take care of their families. Because Memorial Day is not really about picnics and cookouts and big parades, but, through, but though there is nothing wrong with enjoying and celebrating our American way of life, Memorial Day is truly about gratitude and remembrance. It is about honoring the men and women who made it possible for us to gather here today in peace. That is the reason, and we must always remember those who made our way of life possible. They are truly the guardian of our freedom. This concludes our ceremony for today. May God bless you, may God bless our healing nation, and may God always protect our troops. Thank you again for being here.